Geeks, Tim with MajorGeeks.com, and today we're going to take a look at how to, hit up there, create a shortcut to any Windows setting. This will allow you to have a shortcut that goes to anything in the control panel, for example, and you can get at it frequently, so if it's something you want to use. Now, I'm sure most of you know how to create a shortcut, but just in case, we right-click on the desktop, click New, click Shortcut. Here is where we'll be using type of location. We'll be copying and pasting into here. But for future reference, you can also browse to an executable. And then you click next and then you name it and then you click finish. And that is how you create a shortcut. So now that we've done that, let's take a look at the article. Once again, it's step by step. As you move down farther, we also show you how to create or find a different icon when you're done. And let's keep right on moving down. Here is the massive list. Alphabetical, alphabetical. So accounts, A, as you can see, apps, A through Z. So everything's alphabetical to find what you want. Let's play around with Windows Update, something we need to get at once in a while. You have your delivery optimization, your backup, your Windows Update settings, advanced options, restart options. So let's go to advanced options. As you can see, come right over here and find the MS-settings. Highlight whatever it is you want next to the setting you want. And right click, do new, shortcut, copy and paste, control V. Click next, name it whatever you want. Click finish, and there is your shortcut. You move it wherever you want, double click it anytime you need to get at it. And there you go, you're at the advanced option. So it's just a neat little quick tip for today to show you one way you can get it frequently access settings without having to start control panel and dig your way down into whatever it is you got to get to. So for in this case, if it's closed, as you saw, we just quickly clicked. You'd have to be a start control panel, update and security, and you'd have to find the settings. There's your delivery optimization and find the setting that you want. So you don't need that once you have this nice big massive list. It's pretty cool. So that is today's quick little tip for you. I hope we helped out in some way. Thanks for watching as always, and we'll see you next time.